What's going on everybody? Patrick from Obscure Reference here, and we're back with another trailer reaction. That's right, you can see it on the screen that I'm looking at here. It's Batman Cape Crusader. The first trailer has dropped, and I couldn't be more excited for this. You're probably wondering, what is this? And I'm just not remembering, I forgot the... It is the, um, the story behind this one. It's kind of a storied one, it's a confusing one. It is J.J. Abrams' uh, I think he's behind this and it was supposed to go to HBO but then um, after they got acquired by Discovery after sorry they didn't get acquired they merged um, this show kind of got put to the wayside so they shopped it around Amazon picked it up so long story short that's how it ended up here um, and it's just the vibes of it have got my interest they sh they've been slowly teasing stuff for the last couple of weeks uh, I'm very excited to see what this is all about they just revealed that um, Hamish Linklater is voicing Batman. I hope I'm saying his name right. Um, but he's great in um, Midnight Mass. So I'm expecting big things here. Um, but without further ado, I'm going to jump into it right after I tell you to like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. So let's, without further ado, let's jump right into it. Asking the question on everyone's mind these days, what do you think about the Batman? Love the use of the radio here. And Frank city's gone Ooh, to hell in a handbasket. That's Firefly. Oh, he's breaking the law, ain't he? So they ought to catch that freak and lock Right up. off the bat, this is invoking some Don't of that it's gonna be easy. But catching Art Deco is style we'll of the so this one dresses up 90s like Dracula, so what? We're gonna take him down. What do we know about this Batman? What do we know about this Batman? He's been beating the tar out of muggers and dope peddlers out there the last few weeks. Is that you, though? He's mostly been seen at night driving that hot rod of his 100 miles an hour. And now he's even attacking our brave police. Well. Nice car. This man is not a hero, he's a criminal. And his time in Gotham is up. Mischief afoot, sir? Three explosions in okay, two weeks. Okay. Peculiar. There's Damn something me. more going on here. Okay, see? See, I knew it had Bruce Tips pretty fingerprints all over it. Got Matt Reeves. He's an itch that needs to get scratched. There's Batwoman. The kings don't run this court anymore. There's Harvey Dent. The jester does. Bang. Oh, who is that? It's not Black Mask, is it? Looking at an all-out gang war on the streets of Gotham. This is a losing battle. A hundred other monsters will show up to replace oh, anyone you Whoa. take down. Okay. Probably. Is that no? But now they'll all know I'm coming for them. Dude, he does a good bat. He's gotta be scared for right? Oh my god. That'd be kind of insane. Maybe I have that read all wrong. That looks good. August 1st. I gotta look and see what the release strategy for that is. Um, shut up. Alright, I'm gonna quick go through some of this. Um, I think we got more stuff. Cut your captions off as well. Um, let's see. Interesting here. Yeah, we got all this. Okay. Hold on, hold on. That's gotta be Batgirl, right? It's gotta be. That invokes her old suit from, the, like, the 60s show. Um, kind of a choice to have it just kind of, I don't know. I don't know enough about fashion to accurately describe what I'm looking at there. Um... Yeah, here's Harley Quinn. This is they showed this a couple weeks ago. Love this choice. They're definitely going for a more serious tone here. Um, I truly am not sure who this one is. I think it's Black Mask. That would make the most sense because uh, he is involved with like mobster stuff typically. Like you go watch Birds of Prey or play Arkham Origins, um, which oddly enough that's where Firefly is from. If um, guy who's setting these buildings on fire at the beginning of the trailer is who I think it is. Um, Oh, oh, stop, stop. What's on the side of that boat there? Is that the Iceberg Lounge? Yeah. So Penguin's going to get involved. That makes sense. Let's see. How far are we out? I don't know who this fella is. That's got to be Two-Face. That's got to be. I know. I, oh, you know what? That's probably Clayface. That looks like, um. I didn't know what to make of the mouth thing here, but someone probably punched him, and he probably just... 
I mean, you could say that or Plastic Man, but I don't think we're doing Plastic Man and Batman Cape Crusader. It's got to be Clayface. Um, so yeah, there's Scarecrow again. Um, oh, you know, see, I didn't know what to make this either. This went by a little quickly, but that's clearly um, Oswald Cobblepot, a.k.a. the Penguin. Okay, okay. See, I had a feeling with the Iceberg Lounge he'd be in this, and then I forgot about that shot, so... Um, let's see. Yeah, this guy here. I don't know who else he could be but Firefly. I don't know if there's any other fire-bending villains in Batman's Rogues Gallery. I truly don't know. Let me know in the comments if I'm off on that one. Um, yeah, so there's Scarecrow. Ah, dude. Getting a gang war. What's up with this guy? What's up with this? I don't know what to make of this one. Because, yeah, there's... I, I know... Uh, a little bit about some of the supernatural stuff that goes on in DC's world, but I don't know what this is about specifically. Um, because yeah, I think gentle what is it, gentleman ghost? Here's the the gray ghost. He was in the um, the Brave and the Bold show a few times. I also think of Etrigan, the demon dude, but I don't think that's what this is. Um, but poor Alfred, man, he's going through it. Seeing all this, I mean, it could be something to do with the Shadow League. What is it? The League of Assassins? Rage al, al Ghul is what I'm getting at. Um, it looks like that is Catwoman because it looks more like cat ears on her cowl and she's shocking Batman, so I don't... It would be weird to, if we had Batgirl in this first season, so yeah, I'm going to correct myself. I'm going to say that's Catwoman, which would make more sense, quite honestly. So yeah, August 1st. We don't have to wait too long. Okay. Well, yeah, I really like the uh, invoking of the Art Deco vibe from the original 90s show. Like, just looking at this cityscape, it's just taking me back to watching the 90s show as a kid. And, yeah, Bruce Timm's involved, so, of course. Um, but, um, so, yeah, I'm all about that. I, I know it's going to be a more darker, more serious tone, which is, I think, where Batman typically thrives. Um so I'm, I'm all about that and it's going to be him and his rogues gallery and that's all i need have a gang war have you know scarecrow's faction go up against whoever's burning stuff his faction and then throw in harvey dent throw in oswald throw in you know catwoman i think we got a really cool story that could play out here uh i think we're getting a lot of really good like street level mob violence batman lately between this and the batman from matt reeves um and yeah man this this it looks fun it looks good it looks like the kind of Batman that I like, which is more reminiscent of what the 90s uh, animated show was like, which I'm all for. So, yeah, that's probably going to do it for my initial reaction and analysis here. What are your thoughts on the trailer? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, what is, who is your favorite Batman and why is it Val Kilmer? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Also, leave a like and subscribe. All that good stuff. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Hey, you. Yeah, you made it to the end of the video. I'm proud of you. You know what else you should do? You should hit that like and subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. You should tune into our live streams. Check out some of these videos that I've put up here around me for you to check out and enjoy. That is all.